guys, welcome, welcome to the fantastic, fabulous, and fantabulous session by Vedantu Ninth and English. My name is Pritesh. I'm your host, your host, and a proud math teacher from Vedantu. Welcoming you to the fourth session of the fundamental unit of life, where we are dealing with cell organelles. Now you know the pattern. I'm sure by now you are well versed with the pattern that first we do two sessions where we learn the concepts, then we do a V quiz session, then we again do two sessions, and then we again do a V quiz session. So after the live week quiz session, this is the next session that we are doing where we'll be learning and exploring the cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, lysosome, Golgi apparatus, ribosomes and etc. So quickly, without any further delay, let's begin the learning. This is some information about I, me, myself. You can follow me on Instagram at Pritesh underscore Vedantu. That's my Insta handle. We are talking about cell organelles. Now, these are the ones, those who have given me the correct answers. Robert Brown discovered nucleus from which part of the plant? Samyukta Ita Gauda told he discovered it from the orchid root cells and so did Akshita Bhardwaj, bark of a orchid plant. Very good, that's amazing. It was from the bark of the orchid plant. Now, we are talking about cell organelles. Cell organelles, first, Get the pronunciation right. It is not organelles. It is not organelles. It is organelles. Right? O-R-G-A-N-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E, right? So these are the structures that are found in the cytoplasm. These are the structures that are suspended in the cytoplasm. Like the vacuole, like the mitochondria, like the ribosome, like the lysosome, like the endoplasmic reticulum. Right? These are the organelles that are suspended in the mitochondria. We begin with endoplasmic reticulum, also called as ER. We begin with endoplasmic reticulum, also called as ER. So, it is very, very important things that we have to do over here. It is a, it is an, it is a single membrane cell organelle. It has got just one membrane. It is continuous with the plasma membrane on outside and nuclear membrane on inside. So suppose this is the cell, this is the nucleus. So my endoplasmic reticulum starts from here and it ends to here. So basically, it is a pathway from the nucleus to the cell membrane. From the nucleus to the cell membrane. It helps in intracellular transport and membrane biogenesis. What do you mean by membrane biogenesis? Membrane biogenesis means formation, this is super important, formation of membrane, especially here we are talking about the plasma membrane. So it helps in membrane biogenesis. We know that the plasma membrane is made of lipids and fats. So the lipids that are used to make the plasma membrane come from the nucleus, they go through the endoplasmic reticulum to make this plasma membrane right super important what is membrane biogenesis it is formation of the membrane the endoplasmic reticulum is of two types smooth and rough smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes ribosomes are the protein synthesizing organelles they help in detoxifying many poisons and drugs in the liver cells they are in the liver cells this is super important this is very very important 100% guaranteed question on this in the exam. What is the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum or what helps to remove the toxins and the poisons and the drugs from the body? It is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum present in the liver cells of vertebrates. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, it has got ribosomes and that is why it is rough. Can you see here? These dot 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 These are the rough endoplasmic reticulum. These are the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, after this, remember there are two types of ER, smooth and rough. We talk about the Golgi or the Golgi or Golgi. So, Golgi apparatus, again, they are single membrane bound cell organelle made of sac-like structures called cisterne. Very, very important. Very, very important made of cisterne who are filled with enzymes. Who are filled with enzymes. So Golgi apparatus is like the post office of the cell. It is like the post office of the cell which helps to store, modify, pack and transport. It also helps to make complex sugar from simple sugar and it makes lysosomes. Who are lysosomes? 
they are the suicide bags right so i will call my endoplasmic reticulum as the assembly line of the cell i will call it as the assembly line so imagine your cell is a factory imagine your cell is a factory so your endoplasmic reticulum is the assembly line your endoplasmic reticulum is the assembly line then your golgi apparatus is the post office golgi apparatus is the post office right who will store modify pack and transport and your lysosomes are the suicide bags your lysosomes are the suicide bags right shall sure. so moving on further ahead moving on further ahead we learn about lysosome so they are the suicide bags they dispose the waste they digest intracellular digestion of food in unicellular organisms again super important this can also be asked as a question in the exam this can also be asked as a question in the exam that what helps to do intracellular digestion in unicellular organisms it is lysosomes it is lysosomes very very important so i'm writing here vip theek hai again single membrane brown cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes present in all animal cells but a very few plant cells present in all animal cells but very very few plant cells and it has got hydrolytic enzymes this is also asked in the exam this is also asked in the exam in many many grades in higher grades you learn that how something is disintegrated in the lysosome you learn that how do hydrolytic enzymes destroy the entry of a foreign object in the lysosome so that also you will be learning in the uh, you know in grade 10 that how does lysosome help to destroy the uh, foreign body that enters the cell and now we talk about the power house of the cell that is the mitochondria so remember over here that mitochondria has got double membrane mitochondria has got double membrane so the inner membrane is deeply folded and the outer membrane is porous very very super important point about mitochondria it has got its own dna super important 100% guaranteed question in the exam it has got its own dna it has got its own dna and ribosomes this is 100% guaranteed question in the exam name the cell organelle having its own dna and ribosomes it is mitochondria main site of cellular respiration where where atp is formed from adp and ip from adp and ip atp is formed from adp and ip adp is adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphate together they make atp with the help of oxygen so when we breathe in when the oxygen goes to each and every cell of the body with the help of rbcs the oxygen with adp and ip generate atp and release carbon dioxide which we exhale and this atp is the energy currency of the cell this atp is the energy currency of the cell right so that is how cellular respiration happens you will learn that in detail in grade 10 when we learned about uh, life processes right so that was all about mitochondria lysosomes uh, then your golgi and your endoplasmic reticulum smooth and rough so again quickly we'll revise one endoplasmic reticulum from nuclear membrane to plasma membrane smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth helps to remove the toxins and the drugs from the body and rough endoplasmic reticulum has got ribosomes on it that help for protein synthesis then we learn about golgi apparatus which are sac like structure called cisternae they are the post office they help in packaging storing transporting the materials and uh, again they help to make complex sugar from simple sugar then we learn about lysosomes who are the suicidal bags having hydrolytic enzymes they help to destroy any foreign body and they also help intracellular digestion in unicellular organisms apart from that we learned about mitochondria which is a double membrane organelle also called as the power house of the cell it has got its own dna and ribosomes and it helps to generate energy in the form of atp by cellular respiration 
So that is it. If you want to learn with me and all your amazing teachers of Vedantu at a very very nominal cost of 4500 rupees, then you must buy the Vedantu Pro Life subscription where you're getting live doubt solving, live quizzes, leaderboard, assignments, notes, study material, live discussion on the study material, post, uh, yeah, that's it. So you're not getting the live discussion on study material uh, at uh, this cost. And then uh, you get the study material along with the PDF, right? So you just pay rupees 4,500 if you put the coupon code PREPRO. So just for rupees 4,500, you're getting English, math and science. Entire English, entire math, and entire science, physics, chemistry, bio, only for rupees 4,500 for the entire year. So this is a great deal and you must grab it with both your hands just by putting the coupon code PREPRO. And you have to tell me the answer to this that list the organs which will have the largest amount of RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum having the ribosomes. So which organs will have the maximum amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum? Tell me the answer in the comment section below. Remember the coupon code PREPRO which will enable you to get a discount and you end up paying only Rs 4,500 for the entire year of learning of English, Maths and Science. Right? So with that guys, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Share it with all your grade 9 friends and cousins and everyone who wants to learn with Vedanta 9th and 10th. Remember, hashtag each one get one. We are only expecting each one of you to get just one more subscriber and make the Vedanta 9th and English family bigger, better and stronger. Thank you so much guys. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you really very soon. Take care. Happy learning. Bye-bye.